Hello and welcome to video number four, which is all about formatting your ebook. Before we actually dive into the first two steps, I want to talk about a quick overview. So, step one, we're going to check the ebook to make every, sure everything is okay. Step two, we're going to convert the Word document to HTML. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a free software tool called Moby Creator Publisher version. It's free. You don't have to invest any money. And then, of course, step three is we're going to be formatting the book one step further. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so step one, we need to look through the ebook just to make sure everything is correct. So just want to make sure everything looks good. So I'm going to make sure there's no humongous white space breaks or anything like that. So it'd be wise to go through and, you know, check, double check everything. And then once you're done, what I'm going to do right now, it's in docx format. I want to save it in just plain doc format. So I'm going to pick on this format here, click on save, and then I'm going to close this out. So this is the file that I want to convert. Now, what I need to do now is go to mobypocket.com. So if you go to mobypocket.com, you click on software at the top here. You scroll down, you will notice on the right hand side that you can create ebooks with this tool. Now, there are two versions there's a home version and a, there's a publisher version. Publisher version allows you to protect the distribution of copyrighted content. So if you wrote your ebook, you definitely want to protect it, right? So in this case, you want to download the publisher version. So I clicked on that. And you notice the publisher version when it says protect the distribution of copyrighted content. So I'm going to go ahead and download this file. Click download. And it's a 10 megabyte file, so I'm just going to go ahead and pause this and resume it after I have installed this software program. And before I install it, I, I want to make sure that you understand that when you do download the Mobi Pocket Creator, when you install it, you will have two choices, the Home Edition or the Publisher version. Publisher Edition is for advanced users, but that's what you need to pick. So click on next and click on next and install it. Okay, so I successfully installed the Moby Pocket Creator and what I want to do is it says import from existing file. Now I have an MS, an MS Word document so I want to find browse to find that fold file. So I'm going to go here, click on browse find the file and then it says create publication in this folder so I essentially just want it to be in, in the same folder and language is going to be English and encoding is going to be by default Western so I'm going to click on import and within a few seconds it should save it to the HTML file all right, so we see here that we have the HTML file. You know, if you have an image, you can add an image and the table of contents here as well. Book settings and other things like that. So, but since it's just, I'm just going to keep it simple for now. So I'm going to leave it like this. If we, you want to take a look at the HTML file to see what it looks like it'll be located in here so we'll open this up in Google Chrome and we can see it here so the next step in this process is to go to Google and download a program called Composer just as you can see here and we'll click on download 
So I want you to download this here, install it, and then op open up a composer, which is going to look like this. So you can open this full this uh, program up, and then click on open, find the HTML file that has generated by the Moby creator. Once that's done, then what we can do is start formatting the document. So now we need to finalize the formatting of the ebook. Now keep in mind that font sizes can be achieved using headline tags or heading tags. So I'm going to show you that in just a minute. So if you want to, you know, make your headings bigger, then you can use H1, H2, H3 tags. And now keep in mind that Amazon Kindle, if you have page breaks in your book and you don't tell Amazon Kindle where the page breaks are, they're just going to break it wherever they feel like it's going to break. So it's pretty much automatic. So you want to tell you know, Amazon Kindle where to break the tags or, or where the page breaks are going to be. So this is the tag that you would use in front of the wherever you want the page break to be. Table of contents to tell Amazon Kindle, you know, where your table of contents is, you want to have the specific tag in front of it. Now, if you have images within your ebook, which is optional, you don't have to have images. If you do have images, then you're going to need to use a program called Moby Pocket Creator. And I'm going to show you all of this in just a minute. Okay, so now my job now is to clean it up as we looked at in step three. So step three, we need to go through and every headline, make it into an H1 tag or H2 tag. Now, how do you do that? Well, if you highlight the headline and you click on this here, click on heading one, then you will notice it says H1. So we've created an H1 tag. Click on save. Now, one thing I wanna show you, if we click on source, don't be shocked and don't be scared yet because you don't really have to know anything about how to program HTML. All you really need to know is that when the HTML file is created by Word, whether you use Word, whether you use Moby Creator, it's going to add a bunch of fluff to it. So we do need to clean up the code and remove some tags. So for example, this inline stuff you really don't need. And what I mean by tags, tags are noted by, you know, a less than and greater sign. And another thing are span tags. You don't need span tags. So, for example, you're going to see a lot of span tags where it starts out with span, style, font size, 14 font, you know, and it goes all the way and ends in this tag here. What we can do is we can remove that. And let me show you. If we remove this, when we go back to the normal preview, you'll notice that the text changes, right? Because this text here, you know, this text here is basically, you know, clean. This text here is not. So what you will need to do is you'll need to go through and basically remove those span tags. Now you're thinking, oh, oh my, oh my word, this is going to be a really difficult task. But here's a fast trick. What you can do is this. You'll notice the pattern of P class, you know, blah, 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 all that stuff. So if I highlight the span text, right, and I copy it, and I go up here, click on edit, find replace. What I can do is click on find text and paste that here. So it's not going to work. I guess it's a different line, so I'm going to have to do this. Um, yeah. 
click on edit, click find replace, put that in there, and then just keep that blank. If I click keep that blank, then I remove the second line, which is this, as you can see here. Click on edit, find and replace, do the same thing, keep that empty, replace all. So as you can see here, I pretty much removed all of the text, you know, all of the, I cleaned it out pretty much by just taking one line and then editing, find and replace, putting the code in here and replacing with nothingness. And then as you can see, we have clean code. There you go. Now, just a few other things, uh, font sizes, heading, okay, page breaks. So, remember Amazon Kindle will just automatically put page breaks into your document. This document, I don't have a table of contents, but you'll just need to put this tag in front of the table of contents. And I don't have images, but if you do have images, it would be wise to use the Moby Pocket Creator. So for simplicity, I'm just going to keep it at that. And another thing if you want to do is if you click on tools, click on markup, cleaner, click on cleanup. I did that earlier and I got seven and then it cleaned that out. So that also helps you clean the, the document here. So once that's done, we're pretty much done. We can close that out. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, I am still kind of confused, you can always go back to Amazon's, if you go to, if you type in Amazon DTP or forums.digitaltextplatform.com, you'll be able to find, you know, more information about Amazon, the, the formats that they accept, you know, are the following, you know, HTML, they also accept HTML that's exported from Microsoft Word for example you you don't really have to go through the process I did unless you you know add images or things like that but it also uses the Moby Pocket Creator Word format EPUB format PDF format and things like that so if you're ever confused you know, about other formats that you can use you can always come back to this here and you can also see sample formatting and get some samples and examples of that too if you want more examples